Coronavirus is impacting the tech industry more than just Amazon. Yeah, and the co-founder of GeekWire, Jonathan Spazzato, joining us now to talk about that. Obviously, health is everybody's first priority, but there is a financial impact. And with all the tech in our city, it, it's certainly a big one. So what are you seeing hit so far financially? Yeah, so financially, this is it's really unprecedented. We have, for the first time, a couple of big bellwether tech companies offering downward guidance for the quarter, pretty proactively and early in the quarter. We're just into March, and basically these companies have said last week, such as Apple and Microsoft, hey, we don't really know the exact impact this will have on our quarterly earnings for this quarter that's coming up, um, but we're going to tell you that, that we're probably going to miss. And so that's actually... Uh, a pretty important thing that's happened. Mm -hmm. The second thing that's happened is actually an unprecedented amount of major events that are being canceled. And these are the events where a lot of these companies, as you know, assert their um, sort of position in the ecosystem and interact with third party developers. And a lot of those are basically um, yeah. going yeah. away. And you've yeah. got the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, right? Yes. Is that coming up soon? And that, that what's is. going on with that? Yeah, that's an interesting one because given how many other um, uh, conferences have been canceled, such as Adobe Summit and Google I.O. and Facebook's F8, South by Southwest might be the next natural one to get canceled. In fact, a lot of the big major companies have pulled out. A lot they're of the major going. speakers, they're not going. Yeah. But as of right now, South by Southwest is still happening. So uh, it's an interesting one where, where I think um, it's kind of in a gray area there. Hey, GeekWire, you guys uh, did the story first, and then the Seattle Times and King 5, we picked it up as well. This Mercer Island kid, this teenager, yeah. who has developed this website that is really tracking the coronavirus, and people are using it globally. Um, what, what kind of developments are you seeing in tech in terms of sort of helping combat the, the outbreak? It's a great question. This is a great story yeah. because this is a Mercer Island high school kid who on his own just decided to create a website that's sort of the canonical source of truth for everything, all the accurate information and data on what's going on with the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. He's solving for like, hey, let's, let's everyone sort of calm down and look at the actual facts. And so his website is ncov19, oh, excuse me, ncov2, 2019.live. Mm -hmm. And what you're seeing really is a discussion in terms of what the denominator is. It's all about math and fractions. And so um, a, a while back, people were saying, you know, hey, maybe the death rate on this is some, uh, somewhere between yeah. 1 and 2 percent. That's two people dying out of 100 people that are infected. Mm -hmm. What we're now sort of seeing is that maybe that denominator is not 100. Maybe it's as big as 3 to 400, wow. so that the percentage of people that are, uh, that could, uh, where this could be fatal is actually lower. Yeah. I love that you leave it to a kid to, you know, figure this all out. That's right. <laughs> yes, our future is in good hands. Future, yeah. Exactly. I love that. All right, Jonathan Spazzato, thank you very much for thank giving you. us a look at the impact on the tech industry with all of this. Appreciate of course, it.